Hi guys, my name is Annie. I hope you all have a great day so far. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm doing DIY sewing. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to see new video every third day. In video today, I'm going to be sharing with you on how to make a backless dress for summer. Summer is officially here. This is the perfect time to go to the beach to enjoy your vacation. If you're looking for a beach outfit, how to look cute, how to look sexy, oh, I recommend you this dress. Actually, it's a maxi dress with side slip at the front, flattering lungy neckline, and especially backless dress with a knot. You never go wrong with this dress for a day at the beach. I'm gonna show you step by step to sew it, and you can easily to follow. Okay, let's get started. I will tuck the cotton fabric in green. This color is one of the trendy color for 2022. And it's already got her. So it's look fancy and pretty nice when the dress turn up. Like always, I already made the button here. I'm starting with a normal top. Then divide this top into two parts, such a plus part and lower plus part. From the shoulder, go down 3 cm and draw a deep neckline and the new armhole. From the front, I'm gonna draw back side like this. And from the top, I'm going to draw the skirt part. For front, I'll divide it into 3 parts one in front and two in outside. Back to the top part. After cut our first part and lower part, I divide first part into three parts like this. Then cut it off and place them into another paper with a distance of 3.5 cm for each to make in a new one. When I got all of the product, I'm gonna cut our fabric. Here are four pieces of the brush part. I'm starting work with this panel by stitching on the bottom. Then, pull thread on top to get a fabric. Now, I'm going to play them right side together and stitch it on top. From top, go down 1.5 cm and snip 1 cm on both sides. Then flip them out. Fold this small part to the wrong side and stitch it. Okay, now turn the wrong side out again and connect to panel at the neckline and the arm hold together by sewing with it. Thank you. 
turned the right side out and I got two pearl sparks like this. Now, I will stitch it at the top right here. Before connecting the lower part into the first part, I already pressed a thin interfacing around the lower part because this fabric is stretchy. Okay, I just pinned two lower top panel to the first part with right side together and stitch it. For the back side, I'm going to play the main panel and lining panel on right side together and stitching around. Turn the right side out and press to make it flat and nice. Now, I'm gonna connect front top and pack panel together by sewing machine. Moving on to the skirt, I'm starting to make the grey dot at the back side first. Now, bring on the skirt panel to overlocking the edge of fabric. You can see, I already pressed an interfacing on the edge of fabric before overlocking. I found this way to make sure the fabric not stretchy while overlocking or sewing. Alright, I'm gonna connect three pieces of front side together by sewing machine. But at the left side, I just sewing down 36cm from top. Then, at the slit part, I'm going to fold fabric to the wrong side and stitch it. Okay, when I got front side and back side like this, let's connect them together on both sides. For the lining skirt, I will top a kind of silk in similar color with the main fabric. I'm using the original pattern, but cut off the bottom. Just uh, use 36 cm from top. After cut our fabric, I just do it like the main skirt, making great start on front and back side. And connect front side and back side together on both sides by my searcher and overlooking the bottom.
Now it's time to connect all together. I'm gonna stitch in front side first. Before I keep going to finish dress, I'm going to use the leftover fabric to making straps. I cut fabric with 3 cm width and fold fabric, stitch in and turn the right side out. After that, I got the straps like this. And now, I'm using these things to help me adjust the step short or long. Actually, I don't know how to name these things. If you know, let me know by comment down below. I'll cut two long strings and two small pieces with 6cm. Okay, just do it like me. Now, from the side of dress, go out 7cm, bend along strings between main skirt and lining skirt. Keep going to go out 4cm and bend small pieces while folded in half. And then, sewing them together, doing that onto the other side. Next step, I'm working with the invisible zipper. But first, I need to exchange the press of foot by the invisible foot and just sewing down. Now, I threw my hand between main fabric and lining part and grabbed the top out. Then, stitching lining fabric and zipper together. Lastly, I just connect two panels from the end of the zipper to the bottom by sewing machine and hand the bottom to finish. Just doing that onto the lining skirt. And here the final look. I'm ready to go to the big now. This dress is flattering, sexy and super comfortable. I'm happy with it turn out. Hope you like this idea and my tutorial. And see you next day. Bye!